Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be installing this blue synthetic wig. And the first thing I did was put on my wig caps. So I put two wig caps on and I put two of them on just because my hair in the back was not flat and I thought it would make it a little bit flatter, but it didn't and I fixed it later. So I put two of those on and then for this bald cap or wig cap, I'm not gonna be gluing it down or doing anything like that. I'm just putting my foundation color on the cap. Now for the wig, this is what the wig looks like and how it came. So it comes with two wig caps. A lot of my synthetic wigs, they always come with wig caps. And this is what the hair looks like when I took it out the hair net. And this is my first like impression, my first time looking and viewing the hair. So this hair, at first, it was really easy to run my fingers through. It's straight as you can see. And then this one has like that like middle part thing there. So you can't do like a free part or it's not like a full like lace in the front there. You know what I mean? Like a 13 by 6 or a 4 so that's what it looks like in the front also um, and it does have that part you can see so I went ahead and tried the wig on to make sure that it would fit on me so that back part it did look a little bumpy back there because of my hair underneath but I fixed it later on so now I'm putting my lace um, or my wig foundation color on the lace front and I made sure to get it mainly on that part so it would blend in nicely you can see here how the part looks with the color on the lace so I went ahead and put it on I felt like I could have put a little bit more foundation on that part of the wig but it was fine now I'm cutting off the pieces of lace by my ears so on one of the sides here you can see I cut off a little bit too much lace and it ended up not laying right and you'll see that more towards the end so now I'm going to put the actual wig down the lace down I'm using my got to be gel and I'm just using like the end of my comb this is how I always do it for this part I didn't section it off into three I got lazy and I only did two sections but I definitely recommend to do three it's so much easier to do especially when you do the front part of the lace you don't want to have like extra lace in that area and have it look bunchy so you want to make sure it looks smooth and even um, so that's why you probably should do three sections if you want to do more than three you can but three is kind of like the most common one to do but anyways I am continuing to lay the lace down I also went in with some got to be spray um, I don't know if this helped or not I feel like it kind of did help but I use that and I also use my blow dryer and I'm just doing the same steps to the other side also. In here, whenever I have a piece of lace that's not laying down and it's usually by my ear so I don't have trouble, um, I usually just take it and lift it up and either I put the gel, got to be gel, or the free spray on it just to help it not rise back up. And then I'm doing the same steps on this side of my hair. So once I applied the got to be free spray on that one side, I'm going in with the blow dryer and then I decided to go in just on the whole like hairline with the blow dryer to make sure everything was dry. I'm using my scissors to cut off the lace. I obviously was trying to get as close to the hairline as I could. And then on both sides, I kind of focused it more on the like top part of the hairline. As you can see, I kind of didn't go down far to my ears when I was cutting off the lace. I was mainly focused on the top. Um, and this part, that's the part I was talking about where it was kind of like awkwardly on there and it wasn't even. So I fixed it a little bit and had it glued down a little bit more so it wouldn't move. And now I am taking out some hair, some baby hairs. Also, I didn't mention that I didn't pluck this wig either. Um, I just didn't, or I kind of forgot for one, but I just haven't been plucking my wigs. I just been taking them straight out of the thing, the bag, whatever, and putting them on. Um, it's not really too bad of a thing with it. It doesn't look too bad or too wiggy, I guess, or it might, I don't know, but I didn't pluck the wig also. Um, and yeah, but I'm just going and doing the baby hairs. I'm doing them how I kind of normally would do on my hair. Um, also, I'm focusing the baby hairs also on the top part of my hair. I'm not going and doing baby hairs all down my ear or anything like that or by my ear. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and brush through the hair. So for this part, um, my hair kept getting really tangled during the brushing process. Like I said in the beginning, when I was first pulling the wig out, the hair was easy to run my fingers through and it was not any tangle problems. But this time around, I had a lot of tangling and I had a lot of shedding. This is about how much shedding I had when I finished. And that is a lot of hair compared to the wig, which the wig is not really all that thick. So I'd say to split the hair into sections while you're combing through it just so that you don't lose too much hair or rip any hair out now this is the hair in the front and how long it is on me and then this is the hair in the back and how long it is on me the hair is not super thick either so that's just another thing and this is what the hair looks like in the back and my overall rating for this wig would probably be a 6 or 7 out of 10 and that is all for this video hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and more videos for me and I'll see you in my next video bye